नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल हुम वी यूजली स्पीक विद यू नो दे द प्रायरिटीज आर अ लिटल बिट मिस अलाइन मेनी ऑफ दैम वॉन्ट टू फोकस मोर ऑन द फंडिंग एस्पेक्ट रहा द बिल्डिंग बिट एंड विच इज़ वेर आई एम ऑफ द फर्म ओपिनियन दैट टू यू नो इट्स बेटर टू इनिशियली बूथ स्ट्रैप एंड बिल्ड एटलीस्ट सम सेम्बलेंस ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट विच विद द मार्केट rather than just try starting to look out for funding but i want to understand what kind of help does funding actually bring in apart from the money uh, mm-hmm. because money is of course there you can get money from anyone and from anywhere yeah. but yes. uh, how do you figure out the right people who would give you you know from where you should take funding and what kind of help does it actually add what kind of value does it actually add to this actually funding uh, i would say is really very important okay Uh, see there are uh, essentially i would say i would divide the businesses in two kinds okay one is a service oriented business and uh, a service oriented business is essentially a business that can give you money from day one so which is like providing consulting services to somebody providing um uh, services to somebody like coding services to somebody uh, a tech uh, outsourced company or a hr outsourced company so effectively you have a bunch of people and uh, you start charging from day one you have a small setup but then uh, if you are able to do it well then you don't need funding for that okay and that was i would categorize most of the companies in the first uh, half of the decade of uh, 2000 2000 to 2010 most of the companies some of the trends also started very successful it services company that they actually scaled up and then moved sold on uh, and exited from later on okay so this they started in that manner they uh, did not raise funding and they only raised funding only some of them after reaching a certain scale okay so that is one kind of a business the second kind of of businesses are where you are actually working on an idea and you need to build a product okay so that that product can actually start kind of earning the revenue okay now building a product is something or rather a product market fit is something which can take anywhere from 3 months to 3 years okay now if it is a kind of a product that you can quickly build and uh, do a small pilot and test it uh, the advice is always to do that first using very limited resources limited money okay uh, gang up a little bit of money between the friends and all and somebody uh, who is not going to kind of come after you later on asking back their money okay mm-hmm. so uh, do that get that product out see what the product what the market is telling you because irrespective of whatever you might have in your head okay the market is the ultimate indicator of uh, the success of the product or not okay so at the end of it you need to listen to that and you need to iterate fast okay uh, once you have found that there are certain things which are working in your favor i would say that go out and start searching for money okay because money apart from the fact that it actually gives you a lot of leverage in terms of expanding hiring okay building a product faster doing a really well thought out marketing uh getting money from the right set of people also helps you to expand your network and get the right kind of the people associated with the company so a good investor or a good uh, vc who is going to be investing in you is not only investing the money they are investing basically you try to understand that it's vc's job it's their day job actually to multiply that money okay they cannot only multiply the money especially in the early stages if they just think that okay yeah i like this team i like this idea i will just pack it up with money okay the vcs are very very smart set of people they understand that a startup and the founders need a lot more than money in order to make the idea fruitful and successful so they go all out in terms of helping you guys and if you come across somebody who is not willing to do that i would suggest that please don't take money from them okay so you have to take money from an investor or uh, a vc or somebody else who is ready to kind of help in a particular dimension of your business they might not be able to help in all, all dimensions of your business but they can definitely help in a particular dimension or a couple of dimensions of your business whether it is a hiring part okay so they can they are let's say extremely well networked they can actually help you crack two or three good hires that can actually make a real difference to your team okay 
they can uh, they can make some really good business connects okay they can actually help you crack partnerships which are very key in terms of uh, ensuring that your product actually reaches that pmf stage okay so these are the various facets that actually one should consider when taking money okay and as i think somebody pointed out that it has to be a smart money so all these things uh, tip, uh, will jointly kind of uh, uh, make that money more smarter